<clears throat> Hi. Yeah. So, this video is kind of a tutorial, which is also kind of out of my comfort zone, and if you've seen the last one, then, well, I mean, kind of self-explanatory, honestly. However, it didn't turn out that bad, and last night I went to a party and I thought I looked kind of hot, not floating my own boat, if you know what I mean. I thought I looked alright, so I'm going to show you how to do that, because, yeah, also, this fake tan's really good, I really recommend it. Mmm, let's go. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I forgot I was filming a video. Okay, so I would tie my hair back usually, but firstly... Sorry, uh, I didn't get that. Do you mind? <laughs> but honestly, I can't find one and I can't be bothered to look for one because, hey... So yeah, I'm just going to tuck it into my bra. So, actual serious review right now. Actual serious review. Sponsor me, please. This is Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade number four. It actually matches my skin tone. Everyone always complains about how my body is a different colour to my face. Yes. Yes. I'm aware. But I feel like this one actually matches my skin tone. Because I have a really weird skin colour. I, like, I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm white and I'm pale, but also I'm quite tanned and olive, like, just naturally. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and it's really difficult to find it in my skin tone. I'm an anomaly. I learned that word in science. Anyway, so yeah. What you do is I just, like, pump, pump, pump. Like, free. Free should be fine. Oh, I didn't moisturize my face. Usually I use oil on my face to make it soft because I have really crusty, flaky skin. I don't know if you can tell. Look at my lips. Filthy. That makes my skin look less like I've just been taken out of a morgue and just like, hey, let's put some makeup on this dead person. She's really dead, but like, let's put makeup on her anyway. You know what I mean? So you put makeup on because you're ugly and you don't want to be ugly anymore. Okay, so this is my face and this is my foundation. I just get my beauty blender. I pre-dampened it this time. Tell me how proud you are in the comments. And then you just... See? Look. And I don't put, like, thick foundation on because my skin is kind of my pride and joy. Like, my skin's my best feature. Like, an organ is my favourite feature. Wow, how more self-deprecating could I be? That's like saying your liver's your favourite feature because skin's an organ. Did you know that? Me too. Like, hey, what's your favourite feature about your boyfriend? Oh, his right kidney's really, really, really hot, yeah. We get real freaky with that right kidney, if you know what I mean. A Lots of peeing on each other. <laughs> That'll do. And I'm just gonna stay in here because... Where is it? <laughs> Next is this concealer that I bought yesterday. It's the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. <sighs> Not foundation. Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade L11 Neutral Focus. Do you swatch concealers, or is that just eyeshadow? I'll do it for you anyway. <laughs> and it's really thick. It kind of feels like... I can't say that. <laughs> it kind of feels like... Condensed milk with, like, some flour in it. It's really thick. But it's also very malleable and blendy. If you know what I mean. So yeah, I kind of just do that, because I don't sleep. Sleep is for the week. Is it dirty to just apply it straight to your face? Probably. I say this every time I do anything makeup related, like there's at least 10 beauty gurus out there who want to decapitate, crucify, hang, draw on quarter, take me to the top of the Empire State Building, throw me off, and just mutilate me in general, you know? Just general mutilation. I see people do this stuff and things like this and things like this so I do it anyway. Another thing I'd like to add is that I'm a regular person, I'm not a beauty guru, I'm not a makeup artist or someone with like excessive amount of years of training in how to be good at doing makeup. I'm just a regular person. So for the average regular person, it might benefit you more seeing how a regular person like myself does my makeup. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm slightly below regular 
Um, but it might benefit you more because then you can see how I do it and I have no skill. I'm unskilled. <laughs> and then I did something really fancy with my eyes last night. If you want kind of cheap, affordable brushes, then I really recommend um, Real Techniques ones. I kind of use the same brush for everything. I know that's really bad. But I get this um, Real Techniques brush and I use the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. This is the nicest thing I've ever owned. I love that orange and everyone like always comments whenever I wear it and saying like, Oh my gosh, what eyeshadow is that? Oh my gosh, let's just talk about that eyeshadow. And like whenever I do, I, I like hate doing good makeup on YouTube because whenever I do good makeup, then everyone always like, wait, I don't care about the video, let's just talk about the makeup. And I'm like, boy. So I just use that yellow colour there. And then I'm going to use this one. And then I'm just going to go over the top of that there. I'm going to go into, yeah, I'm just going to blow the dust all over my like 900 pound camera. Sure, yeah, great. And then I'm just going to get this colour here. I think that's what I did anyway. And then I just like do that. That works. And then I use a really dark brown next to it right here. And then I just go over that. And you just kind of like throw it up here, you know, just like, woo, woo, <laughs> oh. Next, I get the orange colour that everyone likes, this one right here. And then I put it right here in the middle. Last night was a cool party. A lot of stuff went wrong as what happens at parties. Um, have you ever been to a party where crazy stuff's happened? Share your craziest party experience in the comments. I actually am genuinely intrigued. I always love reading your comments. They're always actually really interesting and I feel like I have such a cool group of like supporters or whatever you want to call yourself, I don't really care. Um, you, you all do like interesting stuff. My camera's in the way if I make up draw. Hold up. Um, yeah. And feel free to join if you're new here and subscribe. Everyone is really great. Like everyone that like, I feel like everyone watches my videos is a really nice person. And I, if you're sick of like people's fan bases and stuff being really mean, because there are a lot of YouTubers who have the meanest fan bases in the world, then come and join this one because everyone's really nice. Which is crazy because I'm honestly not that good of a person. And then I use that shiny colour. I think I just got an eye brush hair on my eyeball. It feels really uncomfortable and it hurts a lot. I did this in the last video as well. Yeah. I feel like that looks seamless enough. Can you see my eyelash mites? I'm kidding. Now, the next step is kind of optional. Wait, no it's not. Do it, otherwise I'll slit your throat. Um, but it's like really fun and exciting and something that I kind of invented, but I didn't, but I like to think I did. So you have to get like a small little brush like this. This is a really gross, and it was really cheap and gross. Um, but yeah, and then what I do is I get some lip balm. I don't really use this one too often. And then I just kind of coat the brush in lip balm. This is a good option if, like most people, you don't own one of those weird gooey stuff. The MAC Fix Plus, oh my gosh, which I should probably buy. No. And then get the Naked palette, or just any palette, honestly, because they're all kind of the same. This one's just naked and sex sells, kid. Um, and then I get this gold colour right in the middle. You can't. So I swatch it. Yeah, good swatching, Kira. And then I dip this in and I get it really coated. Here it goes. Okay, so you basically make eyeliner with it. I can't do it in the camera. And you know what, this is really effective, you know, because it actually, it stayed on the whole night. Like, I had no eyeshadow left, but you know what I did have left? Just this one gold line, just like, hey, I'm Kira, gold line. Hi, nice to meet you, what's your name, gold line? <laughs> look at my gold line. Yeah, it looked better last night, but we're just gonna. And then the thing where they do this as well, because apparently symmetry is pretty. Oh no, I have an eyelash in my eye. Next I'm just going to do my eyebrows. This is a MAC eyebrow pencil. This is new too. It's in the shade Stud. I feel like it's a little bit dark, but I am I work with it. Also, I already used it, so I can't return it. <laughs> I feel like people overthink their eyebrows too much, and you really just have to follow the shape of your actual eyebrow and just kind of colour it in. Because people say your face isn't like a colouring book, but when you have an outline, it is like a colouring book. I've used actual, like, pen in my eyebrows before. I'm still standing. I'm alive. I will survive! I might have ink poisoning on my face though. <laughs> ok, 
Okay, so next, you need to make it look like you actually have structure on your face and you're not just a 2D character. So I'm using Hula Bronzer, this, nothing's changed, same thing, forever and always. But I'm not going to put too much on today because I have a new product I'd like to share with you. This is the like extra part, you know what I mean? I feel like this is only for sexy days, this isn't for ugly days, this is just for sexy days because it's a bit extra. Um, this is Matte Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. It's kind of dark but honestly I like it. And I get this big fluffy brush, this is probably wrong, and then I dip it in there. Dip it. <laughs> Yes, like barbecue sauce. <laughs> and then, there you go. Also, another thing, can I encourage going to underrated pizza places, please? Because I always went to Domino's, like Domino's is my favourite place. But last night, we were tired, it was like 3am and everywhere was shut. But there's this pizza place called Pizza Go Go. And, oh my gosh, was it amazing? It was the most, like, it was such a good pizza. I had a, like, a chicken barbecue pizza, but I took off the peppers and onions, and, um, wait, no. I just took off the onions. I didn't take off the peppers because I forgot, and then I picked them off myself. And then I put olives on it, and it was really good. But, yeah, this stuff makes you really bronzy and, like, nice. But it's not, like, over-the-top bronzy, if you know what I mean. Let me turn the brightness down. Okay, and then if you're feeling like a nice cute pretty girl who likes to have blood in her face Then you can use blush, but honestly, I don't know where mine is <laughs> That bitch gone. Oh, no, found it. <laughs> so I use a dandelion brush even though I feel like it doesn't actually do anything But it's okay. I don't like looking like I have blood in my face anyway I'm mm, like a bit here Okay, I I Lash cream. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a false lashes kind of person. I'm not the kind of person who would like put something on me that looks false, if you know what I mean. Like, I wouldn't wear fake looking hair extensions or. You know what I mean? Like, some people it looks good on, but some people it just doesn't, and that person is me. I feel like I'm always the person, I feel like I'm always the exclusion. I feel like I'm always like, oh, Kira, the girl with the weird ears? Yeah. I don't know if I'm normal ears. <sighs> now I get Velvet Teddy by MAC, what's new? Everyone uses it, oh my gosh, she's a beauty girl. Cover my lips with that. I stopped overlining my lips recently because I realised my lips are kind of big enough as it is and I just look stupid when I overline them. And then I get this weird gold one, I'm sorry, I couldn't tell you where it's from, it's kind of old. And then I go over the top in the middle yeah this is my face this is my hair this is me some recommendations may include first thing being this diamond choker everyone always asks me where it's from it's from river island it was like 12 pounds or something i really recommend this i'll link in the description these boob things you put them here when you have a back or stress or whatever it keeps them on they're suctioning these shoes, they're from In The Style. They're amazing, they're the most beautiful shoes I've ever worn. I mean, I wore them for like five hours and my, I can't feel these three toes, but it's honestly okay. Yes, recommend 10 out of 10. And thirdly, the most beautiful dress I've ever owned in my life and possibly the most expensive, wait, no. Um, it's short, it's backless, it's from House of CB. I'll link it in the description. I'll put some pictures of me wearing it. It's so nice. Nicki Minaj perfume. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's like really light and nice and pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Also, don't dye your hair blonde. It's ugly. I hate this. I want to go back brown again. Look at my roots. I miss that colour. Anyway, I hope you like this. I'm really bad. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Follow me on my social media and see me look pretty on other platforms because honestly, I'm beautiful. And, yeah, I'll see you another time. Don't fake tan too badly, but also do, because relatable, you know? And also, Brian, I am never going to be good at an outro. How many subscribers do I have now? Like, ten? Whatever. Bye.